Welcome back guys with another how-to video. This time we're replacing the trunk latch in this 2016 Model X along with the emergency release cable and the cinching mechanism, the motor and the cable that connects it. What the cinching does is it pulls the trunk lid down that extra little bit so that it locks into place, part of that soft close feature. And we're gonna be replacing all of those components this is an older Tesla, and as can Teslas continue to age, uh, I want to have this information out there for you guys to work and repair on your own vehicles yourselves. So follow along with me. Hopefully I make it easier for you, and I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. So let me know down below what you think of the video, what I could have added or improved, or if the video helped you along in repairing your vehicle. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself one of these, which is a trim stick. It's a nylon pry tool and it's available at any auto parts store. And I've just started popping these out. These are all pop clips that are all along here. You're gonna wanna work your way around and I've got one last one here in the middle. So I'll pop that off and this should come right down. Let's see here, there we go. So just be mindful of the wire for the switch and that's got a little disconnect on the back there. So we'll just pop that off and set this part down. So you'll notice once you've got that cover off of the latch that you've got a couple of these push pins. So basically you're just gonna wanna get that pry tool, pop out the center, and then you can remove that full pin. And there's one here and one on this side. Once those are out, then you can start to get your pry tool in uh, between the body and this plastic. Get one hand underneath to support it and it'll start to pop down and then do the front uh, ledge here as well. And then that whole unit should come down. So let's see how that goes. So I've got the middle popped out of this little pop rivet guy and they just pull out and then that frees this up to be able to be popped down. All right, so here we are at the other side. We've got all of the push clips pulled out, you can see, and we've just got this one hanging wire and that's for the little LED light, so we'll just unplug that. So the other thing you're gonna wanna do is unplug this plug right here, and then uh, we'll get to uh, unbolting this. So here's that motor that we removed, and this end was snapped off inside the door, so that's not a good sign. Okay, so these latch bolts are number 27 torque, so we're gonna remove this. All right, so what we're looking at is the emergency release for the door here. So on top of here, there's some tape with some sticky goo. So you got to remove that and unhook the cable to be able to feed it back through here. And then that will allow us to get the latch free. So we've got that removed. Hang on to this plastic piece here. Do not lose this. We're going to feed the cable back through. And if you're wondering how to get this out, all I did was peel off this piece of tape, exposing this hole, and then this just slides up and pushes out. All right, so we had a bit of a pause in the filming because I had to go and pick up a new cinch cable. This connects the cinch motor uh, to the latch. So I'm gonna pull the latch out, connect this cable to each side, and bolt the cinch motor back inside the tailgate here. All right, so removing the old cable from the cinch motor here, this guy slides upwards. So if I turn this over, you're going to see this tab coming through. You're going to want to you're going to want to get a flat screwdriver and press this tab down and then push up so that the whole cable mechanism moves out of these fins here. So we pop that out. It's now hanging freely and then you just pop the ball out of the this round spool here. Okay, so somewhat unrelated, this was seized. I guess it had been kind of pulled too far. That's probably why the cable snapped, but I took it apart and loosened it up and it's working fine now. I just plugged it in, tested it. The motor spins this little cog here. So we're going to hook in the end of the cable, which is this, uh, this little ball here. It's gonna go in here, wrap around, and then come out the chute. So you'll see what I mean in a second. All right, so we've got the little ball in here. Cable is rooted through that uh, groove in between here. Let me see that. You see that groove? And then this guy is gonna sit right back in here. There you are, so it's sitting right in there snug and it actually clicked into place with the tab on the back. 
So let's get this thing installed. Here is the latch. You can see I've got the other end of that cable now with the hook on it and the spring. That is actually gonna hook into this little eyelet right here and then clip into this end here and that is for the secondary clip on the end of it. So we've hooked the hook into the eyelet first and then we're gonna pull this over. This clip here is what's going to slide into here and the little hook on the end of the clip goes into this hole here. And so there we are. Once again, I have the emergency release cable that's still hooked in up here with the little eyelet Velcro piece. So that's back in, that's rooted through the tailgate down to here. And now we have this guy all attached. We see we have that hook in the eyelet. This guy's clipped in, goes all the way down to this guy here. And we're just gonna bolt in this guy first and then this guy, and then we should be in business. Let's see how she goes. All right, so we fished this through. You can see the cinch motor and cable are still dangling down. We got this in place with our torque screws and now we're just gonna tighten these up. Just snug them up on each side and then just give them a little, little crank. There we go, nothing crazy. There we go, nice and tight. All right, guys, so you can see I've got the cinch motor into place. Just carefully root that cable so there's no kinks in it. Nice and easy. And then we just line these guys up just finger tight. And we'll zip them in with a drill. Do not over tighten them. And just make sure that this little cable here is just tucked up out of the way where it's not going to get kinked. So we're just going to toss it up in there. It's got some sheathing on the wire here, so it should be, should be safe. Okay, we're just going to plug our latch back in here. Make sure that's turned the right way up. Should hear a little noise. If not, no big deal, but we are all locked in, back in business. Let's get this cover put back together. Just a little side note, you may find when you remove this cover that some of the clip metal spring pieces come off. So just get yourself some needle nose pliers and carefully remove them. All right, and we just push them back onto these tabs here and then they'll clip in. So once you've inspected the panel, make sure all the pins are straight, all the push clips are lined up, ready to go. These little gold things are all hooked back on. Then just carefully line it up, start at the top edge and work your way down. Also, do not forget to plug in this light, otherwise it'll be very difficult to do it with this little hole here. So plug in the light first. And what I did was I just started clipping it along. I made sure those three little plastic pin forms were lined up with the holes and then just start kind of giving it a good pop with my fist all the way around the perimeter in the back. Don't forget to put these two push pins back in. I'm gonna do that right now and we'll slap this panel back on. Of course, we're gonna plug in the power button as well. All right, so we've got this bottom panel back on. It's all popped into place. We plugged in the button. First thing you do, press this button and hold it. When the gate is in the full open position, you heard that beeping. We've reprogrammed it to tell that it is open and at its maximum height. Okay, so we manually closed it. We are going to open it now. Let's see if it works. Beautiful. It's opening part way because we're in the garage. So let's close it and see if that cinching mechanism works and the new latch. Here we go, moment of truth. Yeah, baby. Gotta love that OG power spoiler. Thanks a lot for following along, guys. You now know how to replace the cinching motor, the cinching cable, and the latch in a Model X.